Excellence, excellence, you call it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I know. Three, two, one, go. All right, good luck, dude. Yeah, good luck. Go luck, go luck to both of you. All right, so the beginning, it's just simple platforming just to get through the first door. Yeah, really, really simple. Much. Ooh, cool. Timer didn't go. Huh. Ace, please. Yeah, it's all right. We'll just start the timer now. <laughs> That's so sick. BB did a final form movement there. Final form glide is still far faster than level three, so not by much. So at the start of the fight, you pretty much magnet thunder the enemies at the start. The trickles are kind of don't really get into it much. They can like wander around, but that's that's fine. So when you get the hammerheads to spawn, you kind of want them to get into the magnet, or the pretty much what happened to Ace, where things just kind of go haywire. Comet gives you using a limit gives you iframe, so during that time you pretty much spend magnet thunder to finish things off. If you're lucky like BB, you don't really need to go in the final form. Alright, so you can see now where I deviate and I go into the steam wheels. Yeah. And I have to use fire to activate them and move on to the next room. So BB does master form harboring, which pretty much you pretty much just go master form, aerial dodge, and then revert, and then since you revert, Sora still has his aerial dodge, so you can keep chaining them like that. So BB's at the Heartless Wave 2 now, so it's the same thing of like Magnanin, but it's a bit different since you're using Final Form now. Final Form Magnet lasts very little, but it puts enemies in a different trajectory at times. And then the Room Masters are kind of the bigger issues during that fight. Ace is pretty much doing all the platforming tech to get into the fight. All the platforming that's for, that they require you to get into the fight initially. Yeah. So. Uh, Core really uses all forms for getting around, which is yeah. what was fun about uh, going through the Cor Cavern of Remembrance overall. So BB's doing a uh, Master Form hovering again to just skip one of the places where you just have a lot of s the steam room, which is kind of annoying to go through. So, and it, he just got straight to nobody wave uh, one now. The first fight's fairly simple, you just magnet thunder everything. It's not as hard compared to everything later on in the fight. He's just finished Heartless Wave 2 pretty good. Um, at the start of Nobody Wave 2, you want to make sure you get the three snipers into a magnet before heading in, because pretty much mostly everything will one-shot you at that point. Ace going through the steam room with final form using Reflect really helps going through that a lot more easier. And here, a lot we didn't notice, uh, mention before, this run relies heavily on Donald and Goofy cooperating with you. If they don't yeah. cooperate with you and give you um, ethers, you're screwed because there's not a lot of use of elixirs, only ethers. Yeah. So um, if they don't give it to you, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, it's a lot more noticeable in Nobody Wave 3. Especially because you really want them to give you ethers. You don't want to waste that many with Sora. So, BB is at Heartless. Oh, heart. Nobody Wave 3 now. The first part is fairly simple. It's once you get past the wave, current wave right now. 
there's a lot of things that just go wrong. And with uh, nobody wave too, you really want them in that little, that little corner right there. So you just gather them all up into that magnet. Now Ace is at uh, nobody wave three now. You also want to keep Donald alive as much as possible. You if Donald dies there in the times where you really need him, it makes the fight really hard. BB's near the end of Nobody Wave 3 at this point. There's. Oh, uh, yep, he just finished Nobody Jesus. Wave 3. Well, that was extremely good. E. Sub 6, heck yeah. Soft, Dude, very heck good. yeah. Very what the song. hell? That's a very good oh, Ace, what are you doing at this? <laughs> Holy. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just press buttons, man. Just. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Ace is. Timer, timer ends when you nail the, uh, the monitor. And as you can yeah. see, uh, we have the data org unfinished uh, surrounding us. Uh, so, I guess, like, theoretically, a lot of people have playfully, like, threw together, like, oh, dude. You should do like a core RTA plus data org RTA like back to back and like on the same file and it's a little I mean it's possible it's just like the rules kind of don't really work well together uh, and it would be significantly slower on the data org side but I mean I guess it would be kind of a playful run if you just want to do it you know yeah for fun It'd be uh, fun to do yeah yeah I'm gonna go Someone ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and die and I'm actually uh, I don't know, yeah, a Asa, I don't know how you, how you feel, like, if you want to do, if you want to show off Oh, you do skip. it, you do it. Alright, I'll do it. I'll wait for you to, uh, finish your run. Uh, and then and we'll demonstrate this guy. Alright, sweet. Good job. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, dude, good job. Good job, Ace. Kind of sketchy ending over there, though. Well, that's all of my endings, essentially. Um, just um, full YOLO, right? That's actually... That was, that was extremely <laughs> YOLO. Not even, not even 